Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb. Every year, hundreds of Puzzle Hunt puzzles are released. What I'm hoping to do with this series is to cover a number of Puzzle Hunt puzzles that I've really enjoyed, that I don't think deserve to be forgotten. For the first of those, I'm going to cover a very silly puzzle from this year's Galactic Trendsetters Hunt, the X-Ray Fish. I've put a link to the puzzle in the description below, and when you open it up, you get this. Yep, that's the whole puzzle. Somehow from this you have to get an English word or phrase. You have this wonderful video. The title, X-Ray Fish, and then the flavor text, which says, Here's what I heard when my earlobe fell in the deep. The puzzle is really a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to solve this puzzle, you're going to have to watch the video a lot of times. As you watch it, though, you might notice some interesting things. There are a few clues that hint to the first step. There's the flavor text, which references a song. There's this sweet bass line. And then there's also this critter crawling along the bottom of the video. All of these are cluing the song Rock Lobster by the B-52s. The lyrics to the song Rock Lobster start, We were at a party, his earlobe fell in the deep. That's what the flavor text is referring to. And the creature with the guitar is literally a rock lobster. There's also the matter of the other creatures that are swimming across the screen. There are whales in bikinis, fish with cat's heads, fish with dog's heads, a potato, and what is definitely a red herring. There are other creatures as well that are swimming across the screen, but what are they, and how can we use them to help solve the puzzle? Well, one place to look for information is in the lyrics of the song Rock Lobster, and sure enough, near the end of the song, a lot of creatures are mentioned. Stingrays, manta rays, jellyfish, dogfish, catfish, sea robins, piranhas, narwhals, and bikini whales are all mentioned, in those lyrics. All of these creatures can be found swimming around in the video, and there are sometimes multiple versions of them. At this point in a puzzle, when I feel like I'm on the right track, and I need to make a list of information, I usually start a spreadsheet. Here I've listed each creature, and how many times each creature appears in the video. But that's not enough to get an English word or phrase. There's still another step to this puzzle. Now, when my team was solving this during the actual competition, we got stuck here for a bit. We had to try a number of different mechanics to figure out exactly what we were doing. But eventually, we hit upon the right idea. We had to use the information that we haven't used yet. In the video, there's a number of strange noises. These are noises that are played after each sea creature appears in the actual Rock Lobster song. This gives us a different ordering of the creatures. Rather than using the order they appear in the song, we can use the order their sounds appear in the video. And now we can use a standard puzzle hunt technique. We have a set of words and we have a set of numbers. And if we take those numbers and index into the words by those numbers, we get a phrase. OK Corral. This is the answer to the puzzle. We would input this into an online answer checker that would immediately tell us whether we were right or wrong. One final note, which is that the team put together a hilarious solution page for this puzzle that looks like a 90s GeoCities page. Do check it out if you get the chance. Overall, I really love this puzzle for how silly it is. I love puzzles that try to go beyond the typical puzzle hunt structure, and I think that the, the Galactic Trendsetters did a great job designing this one. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and as always, happy puzzling.